Hi, I'm Dr. Ricardo Rodriguez and today I want to talk to you about the issue of implants and wrinkling. Uh, I get on the implant forums quite a bit and, and I do hear from some of my consults that people are concerned about the issue of breast implants and wrinkling. Now, there are some types of implants which uh, do tend to cause or actually have a little bit more visible uh, wrinkling and those are the saline implants and you can see here when you hold up, just holding the implant up, you can see those wrinkles on the surface. And that's pretty much how the implant behaves when it's stuck on your chest wall. There will be uh, some wrinkling visible. Now, does it show on every patient? No. Um, now, we take the um, more um, gel-like silicone, and you see that it still also wrinkles. So gel implants are not immune to wrinkling. And as a matter of fact, I have one patient who's uh, uh, very skinny with a very thin tissue cover, uh, whose implant uh, wrinkles and it's visible. Okay. Now, does every patient with silicone uh, have visible imp visible wrinklings? No. Now, there's another type of implant that has even less wrinkling. As a matter of fact, it's recommended for patients with breast reconstruction who have very little soft tissue cover, and that's a gummy bear implant. It's a stiffer kind of a silicone, and uh, this is, for example, a, a buttocks implant, um, not a gummy bear implant, but, you know, the thickness and consistency is similar in that it's very stiff and it, it doesn't wrinkle, but, you know, you pay a price. The implant does feel hard or it doesn't feel like a nice soft breast. Now, the two things that really matter uh, then are the consistency of the soft tissue cover and uh, the material itself. Now, for example, if you have thicker skin and fat, uh, you will tend to see wrinkling a little bit less. And uh, muscles also are very important because muscles have tone. A muscle is active and it forms a kind of barrier to the uh, wrinkling so that even though the implant might be wrinkling underneath, if the muscle itself has some tone, you won't necessarily see them wrinkling. Now, um, let's take an illustration of the chest wall here. You know, what do people mean when they say uh, that the implant is under the muscle? Well, you know, it's not really totally under the muscle because the muscles are stuck to the chest cage, so it's impossible to fit an implant totally uh, underneath the muscle. So what we do is we make a, an incision over here on the pec major muscle uh, to slip the implant underneath it. Now, in the routine case, that implant is only really partially over the muscle. In other words, it's covered on the top by the muscle, but below is not covered by muscle. It's just skin and whatever fatty tissues you have underneath it. Now, um, let's take this mock-up of an implant in here. So here's an implant that's not wrinkled or anything with its shell, but let's say here it wrinkles, okay? now. If your skin and fat is thin, more or less like in this line here, and you see the wrinkle, well, the skin is pretty much going to follow the wrinkle and, and it's going to be very visible. Now, if you have a thicker skin and fat coverage, uh, well, it's not going to show the wrinkle as much. And, you know, of course, the more uh, uh, fat and breast tissue you have under, uh, the less amount of wrinkling you're going to be able to see, but, you know, you could still see it. So if you had a choice, you would rather use a silicone implant because it's not going to be seen as easily, but you're not totally immune to it. Now, if you're covering with muscle, the muscle has tone. It's active independently of what the implant is doing. So although you may have a very thin skin and fat tissue cover, if you have a good muscle cover, it'll tend to camouflage the wrinkling very well. Now, for this reason, uh, I have modified the way I do my quote under the muscle unquote implants. Uh, now let's take, uh, for example, here's the case of the uh, implant that's partially under the muscle, but then exposed in here. Now what happens is the area that's under the muscle is well covered. So these implants usually don't show much wrinkling above which is okay because most people when they're dressed that's the area that's uncovered so they're going to have uh, their implants uh, uh, not showing uh, wrinkling. However on the side 
where there is very thin tissue coverage, uh, you may see wrinkling. Now, on the other hand, if the patient has a little bit more fat and subcutaneous tissue, you may not see the wrinkling as much. Now, let's take um, the case um, of an implant that's under the muscle. And here I drew a wedge of where I slipped the implant underneath the serratus muscles, which are here, and the external oblique muscles, and under the pectoralis major muscle. So this implant is not totally under the muscle, but it's mostly under the muscle. Okay, so this is the only area that's exposed, but you know, most of the breast mass is in here, and the nipple and the are complex are here. Now, what happens here is that all the areas that my wrinkle are covered by muscle, and since the muscle has tone, it will tend to camouflage it very well. So I feel that this technique is much better at camouflaging wrinkles than uh, the other um, so-called uh, submuscular technique. Now this technique, you know, like everything, it has its pros and cons. Now it does tend to be a little bit more painful because you elevate more muscle. And that, in a sense, is why, you know, I'm such a proponent of pain pumps. Uh, the pain pump takes care of the of the so-called con of this procedure, which is the pain. The advantage, of course, is that you have a much better soft tissue cover for the implant. Now, if you have any questions that you feel I don't have covered uh, on, in this um, uh, little presentation, just, you know, write a question underneath the blog post and I'll answer it. Uh, but uh, in general, uh, when I do my uh, breast augmentations, um, I'd rather place my implant under the muscle with this technique, with, with uh, creating a muscle sling underneath that will tend to hold the implant and, and at the same time uh, cover up the wrinkles. Uh, anyways, thank you very much uh, for having listened to me and having been so patient and keep the questions coming. I will answer them and have a great day. See you.